Hey guys, it's Tate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are here today to talk about Team of the Season La Liga and Icon Swaps confirmed for Monday. Both those two things. I want to talk about these TOTS cards that came out yesterday. I think EA did the juice on a decent amount of these. I was a little negative looking at the cards before, but now when I'm looking back at them, there are some cards that EA really juiced up really well, and I want to give credit where credit is due because I think EA did a good job on some of these La Liga TOTS cards. But also I want to talk about the SPC content being, you know, just kind of average again. Objectives looking really good. And also focus on today, what could happen with these TOTS card prices, what's going to happen with the rest of the market, because I think that we could be entering in an area where there might be a bit of drop off on the market with brand new TOTS cards coming out. Of course, people kind of finishing their weekend leagues later in today on, on Saturday into Sunday. Just talk about where this market could be going because a lot of stuff is sort of high. Some stuff dropped off yesterday and I want to talk about all of that. But first things first, let's take a look at this new TOTS squad. I think EA did a decent job with these upgrades. Now, the main man himself, the young, is the one that we have to talk about today because they gave this man a huge, huge stat boost. 94 rated team in the season's card, getting a plus, what is that, a plus 7 overall, plus, a, t plus 10 pace, 10 defense, 17 shooting, 4 passing, 6 dribbling, and 12 physical. Now, that, EA Sports, is a team of the season boost right there on that card he's extinct at 2.1 million coins you know you know benzema is extinct as well i don't think it's going to stay that way that long um we'll talk about that a little bit too but i mean some of these prices today were very interesting to follow on the market they start they all started pretty high and they all kind of went back down there were a couple fluctuations in the first hour but for the most part a lot of these cards started high kind of kept going low Oh, even after lightning rounds, like we didn't even see a really a rise between the second and third and then fourth hour of these cards being in packs. They just kind of kept going downwards in price. Now, some of them have started to bounce back. Vasquez was down at 415K. He's back to 445. Um, I watched Alba go from 450 to like 500. Now he's back down to 465. Uh, Urente was like 370. He went back to 400. Now he's 398. So still chilling there. So there's these cards are fluctuating a decent amount, but I think a lot of people this weekend were just so set with their Premier League teams um, that there really wasn't a huge amount of demand for these cards, and that's why you kept seeing them drop off. Now, I think they're all going to go lower into this weekend, and as we go through the next couple of days into the week, of course, um, but I think the rest of the market could be in for a sell-off today as well. I mean, you look at some of the TOTS Premier League cards. Sun was 2.35 mil before La Liga TOTS was released. He is now down to 2.19. Bruno was 2.8 at one point. He's 2.67. De Bruyne was down some today. Uh, I really think that a lot of this TOTS card market and some of your out-of-pack special cards that got really high this weekend, I think you're going to see a decent market drop-off. I still think this market has a lot of coins and is going to be able to sustain itself. I don't think we're going to really see a market crash, but... Um, you know, since the SBC content has just been, you know, average and okay, I do think people will be selling some cards off because they want to get their coins to, you know, participate in stuff. We have icon swaps coming up on Monday. That's going to be a focus for a lot of people too. Um, you know, last year we had a full blown crash, but that was because the upgrade packs they were releasing were like 30,000 coins a piece. And we didn't, EA didn't drain as many coins off the market last week, last year as they did last week, this year during Prem Tot. So I still think this market is, you know, pretty pretty supplied, pretty plentiful. There are coins on this game, but I just think you're going to see the market drop off because, again, all these new TOTS cards that came onto the market today are basically substitute items for the Prem Tots that we had last week. So Rodrigo and De Young today in the SBCs, I don't understand the showdown stuff happening right now. I mean, okay, it's kind of cool. These are both decent cards. A little overpriced, though, in my opinion, right? Rodrigo looks decent. He's got that three star. Is it skill moves? A three star weak foot is what it is. Uh, I, I mean, his record breaker, of course, objective card has that four star, four star. So that's kind of an L. And then Marcelo is just overpriced. The SBCs for the past week have just been bad. They really have been. Telemans, like mm, whatever. Um, Marcelo is overpriced in my opinion. For the card that you get, it is kind of a good card. And if you think about how much would this be on the market, this card would probably still be like six hundred fifty to seven hundred thousand coins if he had a TOTS card on the market, but, um, you know, this card in itself, it's, it seems like it's just purely based on a lot of hype, and you saw a lot of movements today with other left backs like Ferland Mendy, I want to talk about that as well, 
Uh, one place where EA is still doing good is the objective section, man. The Isak card looks interesting. Really good stats, of course. The body type in game, uh, he's six foot four, I believe. So that's kind of an interesting one. And then Calvario had a huge, like, plus 40 something pace, I believe, to get this guy up to 84 pace. That card actually looks pretty decent if you're really going to grind. I mean, it's squad battles. So if you really want to grind it in squad battles, uh, or maybe this upcoming week with icon swaps coming out, whatever s sort of squad battles grind they have you do, you might be able to combine some of this stuff with uh, icon swaps and maybe get both those cards done. So that'll be something we'll look at later on today. But again, these TOTS cards are very, very interesting to follow. It was easy to make coins yesterday on Friday. There was a lot of buyback on stuff that was panic sold. Uh, I bought a Davies at 1.05, sold it at 1.18. I bought a Vieira at uh, one, I bought two Vieiras, one at 980, one at 975. Uh, sold one of those at 1.09. I bought a Wan Bissaka at 822,000 coins, sold it at 897. This freeze money was bought at 1.09. Now, I did kind of break even slash lose a little bit on these Vasquez. I bought two of them at like 435, 437, sold one at 460, sold one at 426 as he's been bouncing around. Uh, and then that was all the flips from technically yesterday. Some of the stuff was from like Thursday flips. So I'm just going to clear that all out. And restart fresh. I got this Vieira still. You know, that's not going to be a huge flip, but maybe like 20, 30K coins on that. Yeah, your La Liga cards had a lot of fluctuation as well. And I, I want to talk about that. Like this Ansu Fati, that was a good bid price right there. You know, the market is kind of like dead in a sense too, that you can get a lot of great bid prices, to be completely honest with you, um, on some of these cards. Now we saw a lot of supply. Ooh, one, two, five. That's just sitting there for Suarez. Okay, that got bought. Uh, you're seeing a lot of... Some of these cards had insane supply. Suarez had pages upon pages today. One interesting thing that I noted was the Suarez Tots card was actually more supplied on the market than the Jordi Alba Tots card, which was very interesting watching the Suarez. Now, I, I know this Suarez has a lot of hype, and now that we are in the evening, he has obviously gotten pretty rare, uh, chilling at like 1.34, it looks like, 1.33 uh, on this market. So... You know, I, th I think things could go a couple different ways today. I, I think there are some interesting cards that people want to try out, and you might see them bounce back up into the morning. I'm kind of keeping an eye on this Messi just in case uh, he goes somewhere. If I see this Messi a couple undercuts, you know, I might get interested because this card is very interesting for people in the fact that Messi finally has a card with good stamina. 91 stamina on this Messi. They dropped the pace. They added one shooting from his team of the year. They dropped one passing, but they added what is it, like seven physical, I think they added, and 91 stamina. So this is, it's very interesting how EA um, did this with Tots cards. I think we wanted more pace on this Messi, but the stamina boost makes it very interesting, also him being central. So um, that's kind of an interesting one of the, the boosts that we saw today. Again, look at the rest of this team. Benzema and Suarez are very, very similar cards. Benzema is extinct at 1.1 mil. I was looking back at a video from last year and looking at some of these cards' prices, and I really think that Benzema and Suarez are so close in price, it's really almost identical to how it was last year. Last year, the cards had better stats, but Benzema was right around 1.1 mil first day, and Suarez was about 1.4 to 1.5, and then they like Benzema day two on Saturday night was like 900,000 coins. So I do think that you will see a drop off on these cards a decent amount. I mean, this is the example that I was using today. How is this card with a plus two overall rating and then plus five, plus sixes, this card is 195,000 coins and this one is extinct at 1.1 mil. Basically a million coin difference almost between these two versions. It doesn't make sense to me. I think that Benzema Tots card is going to drop. I think Suarez is going to drop. Um, so I, I do think almost all of these cards are going to drop and it's going to make them really, really affordable, which is probably going to bring some of the Prem Tots down with it. So again, if you sold these guys either earlier tonight on Friday night or on, you know, Friday morning was honestly like the peak for a lot of these cards. Now they're still up and I think they have room to drop more today, but that was kind of the peak for a lot of this stuff. Now out of pack specials that were La Liga kind of bounced around today a lot because one specific thing we saw was there was a EA live stream. If you were watching live on my Twitch stream, EA was doing on their Spanish YouTube channel, they were releasing the cards and their ratings uh, live on like a premiered video. So uh, Ferland Mendy foot birthday was a card that moved around a lot today. Same with Ansu Fati. Ferland Mendy was about 800 and I think he was like eight, maybe 20 or 830 Friday morning heading into the content, right? That's where this card was at. 
he was right around, yeah, 850, okay, maybe a little higher than 820. It was like 850 to 860. He spiked to a million coins. When people saw Varan released in the game and Kunde, they went out and they bought this guy up to a mil. And then all of a sudden we had the Marcelo SBC. This guy dropped all the way back down to 800,000 coins, which in my opinion was kind of a buy. But I think he's going to hang around this 800k range since Marcelo is out. That's really kind of hurting his demand and uh, his hype, I guess you could say, is because people could just go out and do Marcelo. And then we also have a Jordi Alba card in the team that's not bad. So that for Len Mendy moved around a lot today. Some of your specials are still pretty high. Inaki Williams, who is 175, he's 200k. Lucas is 900,000 coins. So if you have out-of-pack specials in your team, I would consider getting them out because, again, this is what happens every single year during team of the season is that we get more and more TOTS cards coming out in this game, and people use those, pack those, and end up putting those in their team over you know the older cards and some of these older out-of-pack specials, and you just see a lot of the market continue to kind of drop off. So like this Ansu Fati cards, 1.25 million coins right now. He was like 1.19, 1.2, just a little under that. He boomed right up to 1.5 when De Young was released, when the Messi was released. People saw those um, those links to the Barcelona in this in a squad and, and they just they bought that card up now dest was an interesting one today he kind of got bought up and then he's been sold back down again so i think the market as a whole is really going to get sold off this weekend now does icon swaps coming on monday affect this market at all does that really make people want to sell cards i really don't know if icon swaps in itself makes people want to sell cards um, but I do think that what Icon Swap's doing, if it's released, is that pulls, I guess, people away from um, doing SBCs, from maybe doing upgrade packs, and from maybe trying ca cards out that are on the market. And it kind of puts their mindset in a gameplay mode, in an objective mode. So we will see what comes out with swaps. Nothing's really added to the code yet. You might want to watch your Icon Moments cards this weekend. You might see a little bit of extra selling on those potentially. Um, just a little bit because people might be worried that their icon they have in their team might be one that gets in uh, to the icon swaps uh, set three, which hopefully EA Sports is pretty juiced up and pretty rocking because that would be something that we all want to see. But again, today on content for Saturday, I think EA has a big decision to make. Are they going to keep La Liga team of the season just like they did for Prem Tots? Are we going to finally get a player SBC today that is a TOTS player. I don't know. Uh, last week, I believe, we had the showdown. Was it on day two? And we had a flashback on day one as well. So it almost looks like we're starting the same way. Maybe they're doing a flashback on day one every single Friday. I don't know. Um, I hope not. I kind of want more TOTS player SBC. So we will see if they do something along those lines today. Um, or maybe like a TOTS moments SBC. Last year on Saturday, the day after, we got a Ansu Fati card. That was a card that a lot of people wanted, a version of Ansu Fati in the game, and that was a big SBC. So we could get some sort of SBC today that would make the market move a little bit. But as it sits right now, um, I don't really know what to expect in that department today. The SBCs have been very underwhelming. Um, if you do want to do upgrade packs for this team of cards, that is in packs. I will say 100% stock up on those gold rares because as we look at them right now, I believe gold rares are still around discard. You could get them. Yeah, you can basically get these guys right now on discard. So if you want to go full ham, you want to go on a sign, um, 700 coins or below for a lot of these cards. Looks like you can win them on bid. And uh, that could be either an investment for you because I think these cards will rise back up a little bit into uh, the week as we have the upgrade packs out. I'm expecting the exact same uh, schedule of upgrades probably on Sunday, right? Today's Saturday, tomorrow and Sunday, we'll get those upgrade packs. They'll be pushed out. We'll have the same ones that we had for Prem and, and that will be just fine and dandy. So that's my opinion on what I see there. Um, and again, also today on Saturday, not really content wise, we are expecting more lightning rounds and we've seen that we've seen this trend both of the last two weeks with community and with the EPL team of the season is that some cards get sold off into 6 p.m. on Saturday because people are afraid of them getting packed. They're afraid of that supply. And if it's a hype card that people are wanting to use and try out, a lot of times it gets bought back up because people, um, they, they see that there's no supply coming on the market with lightning rounds. I mean, what a crazy thing to have on day one of your promo for a new team of the season squad and you're on PlayStation, the 100K and the 125K lightning rounds didn't even sell out. 
crazy, crazy that those did not sell out today. I mean, I thought they would. I know the team isn't like that incredible. Like it's, it's a solid team. There are some juiced cards in here, but the fact that we didn't have lightning round sell out twice, not just once, but twice earlier today on uh, Friday was kind of crazy. So I think that is just a testament to maybe where people are at in this game right now, not wanting to really spend coins. And, you know, you can get great cards from just doing objectives, right? So maybe people are just saying, hey, I don't actually want um, to to put money on this game. It's not really worth it for me uh, when I can just go grind some pretty, pretty dope cards through objectives and maybe spam upgrade packs during the week and uh, pack some of these guys then. But yeah, I know a lot of you guys may have questions like when to sell stuff. I really think that this weekend is going to be kind of a high point. I know this market still has coins and I, I think it's going to be a great opportunity to trade today. But I do think you are going to see some dips in prices, even on these cards, right? I mean, I was watching this Yorente card today and I was like, he was 580K. I was like, yeah, maybe he'll go down to 500,000 coins. And then he kept getting undercut. He kept getting undercut. It went all the way down to 370K. Um, it, it just, it's a mixture of like, these cards are maybe, I think one thing also why you saw these, these cards drop today is because people were just, they're content. They just got, you know, from their Prem Tots guaranteed or from their weekend league rewards or from opening upgrade packs in the last couple days. They just got used to having Prem Tots cards in their teams, right? They just got their Ruben Diaz. They just got their Cancelo. So there wasn't as much, you know, I guess, advantage or they didn't have a chance to play with some of their brand new cards yet from Premier League team this season, which is maybe why um, you didn't see these La Liga cards really bounce around that much because, you know, people are just waiting and say, let me play my weekly with my brand new cards before I move on to something different. That could be sort of the situation that we saw or that we are seeing right now in this game too. But these Tots cards are going to be cheap. I know the stats are pretty good, but these cards, as it always is, they're going to drop off into the week. Yorente is probably going to be in the 300s. Kunde is going to be low 200s. Like these La Liga Tots cards are going to be cheaper than the Prem for sure. Uh, and it's going to be interesting, right? Because it's going to bring the whole market down with it, in my opinion, because these cards have really good stats and they're going to be pretty cheap. So that's kind of how I'm feeling right now about the market in this game today. SBC Fodder will always do a check on this. It's still low, right? It's honestly it hasn't moved that much in all honesty. I mean, 84s are still cheap. 85s are still cheap. 86s are still pretty low. 89s are low. Uh, where's my boy Koulibaly? I always check him on the 80. Eight rated situation. He's not even showing up here, but 88 to like 28,000 coins. So yes, low, not insanely low. Uh, Illicic is the cheapest 91 rated card. That's kind of a situation, actually. That's pretty weird. Uh, and Jared Breno is the cheapest 90 rated card as well. That's kind of crazy that these TOTS cards are also impacting the SBC fodder market in the way that they are some of the cheapest players by rating. But I really don't know if I would invest in fodder this week uh, unless I was to do like an 83 or an 84 squad investment and put some of those in my club because maybe 85s too because those are really the ones that did well last week you know with some of the guarantee some of the small packs that we had like the guaranteed secondary league tot squad which we still have the saudi league in packs um you know you, you saw guys like Roel Mourinho take a hit in price today so if i was going to do any sort of fodder investing i would probably focus on that lower tier the 83s the 84s the 85s by the way this guy's card is really really good i packed him red and he's insane so yeah, good luck with your weekend league, boys. I know that you guys are you maybe grinding weekend league right now in hopes of packing that red Messi next week. That's going to be on a lot of people's minds. 439 for Messi. Um, yeah, I think if people are going to have a lot of this Messi on their minds. De Young, it's going to be De Young, Messi, maybe the Varane, and that Vasquez card, right? I want to talk about this card for a moment. People are comparing this guy to a tall. They're comparing him to a tall, a really nice boost. He looks so well-rounded. Four-star, four-star, high, high work rates. I subbed this guy on at center mid, and he was fantastic. 99 attack positioning, um, really good agility balance, 99 stamina, 92 aggression um, with a decent amount, of, actually not a lot of, of traits, but just the stats, man. 99 shot power as well. This card is going to make some waves this week on the market as well, so that's going to be an interesting one to watch. Um, you know, Yorente is kind of a cheap beast too. The card looks really good and people are going to remember how he was earlier on in the year. So, so definitely some cool cards in here. Carrasco looks really cracked as well. Again, people remember him from earlier on this year with his informs, stuff like that. So a pretty popular card there. So I know this squad for some people was not as hype and this team in general is not as hype, but, uh, I think it's still pretty cool, right? Some of the stat boosts that we had in here 
were kind of nice. It, they were they were kind of nice, and I think EA could have done better in some areas. But like this messy card with the stamina. I would have loved to see him get more pace, obviously, but that stamina boost in the central position is interesting. They finally did some skill moving weak foot upgrades like on the Suarez card, who has just gotten so rare tonight, man. It's crazy to see how rare some of these guys get at night. But I think you will see some people start listing cards up and these prices will drop over the weekend. So if there's any of these La Liga Tots cards that you want for your team, I would be holding off on those for sure until like that Tuesday, Wednesday time frame later on this week. But I'm really hoping that EA drops us banger SPC content today and that we have a good Saturday in this game. And I'll be live on Twitch, of course, right around the content drop, talking about all this stuff, playing some weekend league and making some coins as well and getting prepared for a big day on Sunday with the upgrade pack. So that's kind of my plan for today on Saturday. If you want to get involved, link down is down below in the description. Let me know what you did yesterday. Did you open packs? Did you trade? Did you play weekend league? Let me know what your guys' thought process is right now. Is in FIFA? Are you content with the Premier League Tots cards you just got? Do you want to try out any of these La Liga Tots cards? I just want to kind of feel where the vibe is. So let me know down in the comments what your motivating factors are right now in this game. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up. Com uh, already said comment down below. I always do that, man. I say comment down below just because it's my normal thing. And I already said it beforehand. Anyways, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Have your guys a great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.